wadau have a look at these two videos moja ni fake moja ni real job yako ni kudiscriminate angalia tu fit angalia tu poor umeona kama unaweza support the fake one and the real one hii ya kwanza ni a little bit obvious because uh, hata ukiangalia it was very easy kujua but ni ya kitambo kiasi haya angalia this other one ah angalia this other one kwa hizo tu kiziangalia poa ni very hard kupata zote right and that's very scary and that leads to us to our first talking point yenye ni video manipulation video manipulation imekuwa hapo for a very long time since the early 1900s uh, msekali cha lechapla alikuwa anatumia video manipulation sana uh, for cinematic reasons alikuwa anatumia hang miniatures so anaeka miniatures very close to the camera and as he hang then it's in a car way bigger than they are and This has been used a lot hata ile scene ya bear kwa revenants the movie that gave Leonardo DiCaprio his first oscar <laughs> Ilikuwa tu CGI video manipulation and uh, it looks it looked really good but around 2014 video manipulation as you knew it it changed drastically what happened in 2014 something new was introduced 2014 ilikuwa mwanzo ya the deep fix. Deep fix. Deep fix was a generative machine learning models. Jens wapeleke haraka. Let's start with machine learning. Machine learning basically ni computer ku learn without expressly being programmed. Inatumia vitu zetu models. A simple example. Let's say uko na data ya height of people and their shoe size. This data to say we're like 100,000 information from 100,000 people. Using machine learning, we can create a machine learning model and in in a chukua hii height na shoe size, then in a learn using kitu ka linear regression in a learn in a learn in a learn in a joko to shift the height of a person with the shoe size. So basically unaweza kuja ikisha learn na ij evaluate because in a learn koko na information from 100,000 people inatumia like 70,000 of them ku learn ku learn ku learn then inatumia our extra 30,000 kuji test so when you may learn na kuja na jaribu ku predict the shoe size using the height alafu inaji inajimakia hiyo exam yake inaangalia na kuambia so niko this accurate ama niko na this uh, error percentage and that's what machine learning is so inaji ni kama ina learn without being expressly being programmed so una i train no ni test that is machine learning in its simplest form sasa kuna zile inaitwa generative machine learning so this generative machine learning models zinafanya the same things in learn and understand the underlying patterns in data zikisha learn and understand these underlying patterns sasa generative models ina generate new data that is similar to the data that we had these models zimekuwa for a very long time since the 1960s na ndio zimetumika kuunda chatbots zilizokuwa zinatumika back then zilikuwa accurate but zilikuwa zina generate new data hizi models ni eh, kama naive base uh, markov random field uh, kuna the latent trenchlet allocation but around 2014 kuna msel kwa anaitwa Ian Goodfellow so Ian Goodfellow and his colleagues waliunda something inaitwa GANs generative adversarial networks easy ni generative of course from scale to generative ni generative model but it was a little bit different e model when you work it's a supervised model and you solve problems using two sub models easy two sub models moja inaitwa generator the other one inaitwa discriminator so generator and discriminator generally generator in a generate data inaweza kuwa in form of images audio videos etc Then the discriminator in a discriminate ama inaangalia what are the errors in this new generated data follow along with me okay ikishaangalia inarudishia the generator inaiambia there's a problem here and here and here generator again in a forge new data inairudishia hii ina discriminate this process ina happen thousands and thousands of times baka time yenye generator ikipea discriminator the data yenye ime produce ama yenye ime generate the discriminator I find any problems with it. Discriminator inaweza kufanya hivyo because it imetrainiwa na so many images za ama uh, if it's generating images may so train na so many thousands of images etc. Na ndio maana inaweza kuangalia all the problems that it has. And using this guns 
really bad deep fakes so i'm gonna feed information yeah images uh, somebody's face or videos of somebody's face very long videos and you know show all these expressions then in a plant this image this face to somebody else's face now because the the model i'm the training models na kwanga as good as the amount of data that you have the more the images the better the deep fake no money in work very very good with celebrities because they have thousands of good quality pictures on the internet so to me rather what deep fakes are or to have a general understanding of what deep fakes are so zinatumikaje just like everything else they gonna positive and negative uses kwanza na positive zinatumika sana in the entertainment industry for example when they were creating fast and furious 7 unfortunately before malize production and shooting of the videos paul walker who was one of the main characters passed away in a car crash so using this deep fake technology walichukua hii face yake waka plant kwa new actor who i think was the brother but walichukua this face waka plant kwa new actor na ikaweza kuendelea very easily also inatumika during dubbing so if you have an english movie and you dub into japanese inatumika sana during that time because now they deep, they deep fake this face of the knee of the actor with the mouth movement of the japanese uh, language oh my fault Okay, but organic yani naka eh uh, the person who is actually is talking in Japanese don't dub it. Pia kuna kuna so much historical enactment where they use historical figures Albert Einstein or whatever whatever on explain the concept that they were doing in their own voice and their own face. And you know the idea took in understanding and seeing just uh, from the horse's mouth basically. Na hii inatumika sana na inasaidia sana because also uh, there's a campaign and you can find malaria and you can Beckham's face and I'll again like seven different languages using this dubbing technique. Let's move on to the negative now because uh, any new technology was always to me negatively sana. Uh, like the introduction of the nuclear fusion and you can produce so much energy. The first thing people did they created weapons, the atomic bombs, etc. Uh, and later on they lenza kutumia nuclear fusion to generate energy, clean energy and you can for rotating turbines to create electricity etc etc the first negative usage is misinformation of course you need to for misinformation be normal for example uh russia when you invade ukraine tama you going to invade ukraine a video appeared in the ukraine president akisema ame surrender na troops zake wa surrender right from the north spochatko ya varish povernuto donbas after some close scrutiny you can realize that this was a deep fake but it was not that well done, but really it shows you the adversary of misinformation that it can cause. Also, since in a blur the lines between fiction and reality, what one is on a video assumed is fake, yet they are not really fake. An example in Ghana. Ghana could go on a problem, could go on some problem because the president has been on Ghana for a very long time. And then all of a sudden, I can produce a video. And uh, people thought that video was uh, not real because I had uh, a stroke kuna vile alikuwa na bonga ako na hapana hii can lead to some of the military to stage a coup which is very alarming kwa jaribu kiangalia na hiyo aspect something else according to a study done in Netherlands 96% of all the deep fakes they shape produce they are produced for the adult film industry so wana take face ya celeb wana take face ya uh, just an ordinary person wana train his deep fakes wana zi put on adult film actors which is very unfair because uh, you cannot uh, really regulate this you just find your face defect on an adult film which is very alarming peer pena tumika for frauds and scamming so so much i read your news headline mother uses deep fakes to frame cheerleading rivals so mother alifanyaje alichukua cheerleading rivals akawa deep fake uso zao wakankan kama they are engaging in so much drinking smoking and appear to deep fake some of them into naked pictures just in an effort to try and tarnish their names because they were rivals to the daughter in their cheerleading team <laughs> things mothers do another example another news headline frosters uses ai to mimic ceo's voice in unusual cyber crime case so i say will mimic voice ya ceo waka call one of the employees this led to a transfer of more than 240 $3000. You in Kenyan money ni ka, ka 30 plus million. This money was transferred to a Bogas Hungarian bank account. Naona? So, this deep fix is not very in also very negative aspects. 
ukiangalia na ni very frightening because bado zijashika they are getting better and better and better i'll give you an example the first uses of chat gpt liko na tumeka just predict the next word just one word na size ina generate essays in the medical field with pinpoint precision so other than deep fakes in the next 5 years is za kwa zinafanya nini za kwa zina create maybe movies from scratch in as a same a little bit for fetch right but kuna company inaitwa fables fables walichukua south park the animated series wakachukua 1200 characters na wakachukua 600 backgrounds na all the voices of all these characters na all the movement of all these backgrounds waka train an ai model ku training model akunda staff at ita create one episode but waliunda something in a self create meaning unaweza create your own custom episode ama a whole season custom made by you kenye unafanya una write a high level prompt andika prompt moja hapo sure unaembea want a storyline about uh, south park characters come to kenya and fight off alien animals at the zoo then ukishape a high level prompt na unaweza iambia all these characters kenye unaweza kuwa na roles zenye wana play kwa these episodes or this series and you may create this new season and you may create everything including the characters the dialogue the scenes the editing all of this is na fanyo na ai na is this story in something in a happen right now Waliunda moja lakini wa, since wana in the intellectual property ya South Park hawakuweza kuunda more and more and more but wako na zao series zao zenye unaweza ziprompt na no try out see how this can really really change just how content is created the better the deep fakes is get the better wanaweza tumia people's faces to create movie without that person actually acting that movie he inanikumbusha the first episode ya series nito Black Mirror hii episode inaitwa Joan is awful. Kwa hii episode kuna so much AI generated content ya watu na wana complain. Just go and watch season 6 episode 1. Uh, the good thing about Black Mirror kuna individual storylines per episode. So go and check it out. Well, it's not really some Hayek. Yes it is. No, technically uh, the show deploys a digital likeness of Miss Hayek. They don't film her. She licensed her image to them. The entire show is CGI. It's generated by some kind of super advanced deep fake quantum computer mumbo jumbo. Turning now to the solution and conclusion. In this tech world, technology is moving way faster than the regulators. So, e kitu e deep fake imekuta regulators off guard. Countries ka China since ni surveillance country na ni communist na iko kind of dictatorial. Wamesema if you're producing any deep fake content, one it a deep synthesis. Kuna i produce lazima ui mark na useme this is a deep synthesis video to curb the misinformation etc etc. In easier for China because it's dictatorial na wana control very many things. Ni surveillance iko top notch. Lakini for countries like uh, America and European countries wana sema the same thing but it's a little bit harder because ni ngumu kufanya this regulation since it's a democracy based. So kuna so much procedures to follow. UK wamesema kuna some penalties uta face ama some prison sentence uta get if you are using uh, people's faces to create adult content so you know among the things that you may try to find tech companies ka youtube peer wamesema wata pull down your videos or shut down your channel kama una produce deep fakes zenye zina ziko harmful ama zina lead to harmful misinformation na ini ini a little bit hard kufanya because deep fakes zinaweza get better and inaweza kuwa very hard to detect one of the solutions and leona person called harris akiongelea ni fighting software with software So creating software in Indonesia try to curb this new crazy technology in Indonesia. Conclusion yangu ni this technology is here to stay. Here in the anywhere is equal as significant as the first time people captured pictures. Na hizi pictures they captured light na hizi pictures zika anza kutumika for as forms of art, zikaanza kutumika as evidence in court, etc etc. 
alafu wakaanza kutumia pictures in sequences ku create videos na hizi videos zika help create memories capture memories na zika kuwa very useful in journalism just like the pictures alafu nye internet ili come in hizi vitu zikaanza kuwa shared all over na videos and pictures ilikuwa zinatumika as a statement of evidence of something happening but now vitu zime change sana because now we blurred the lines between fiction and reality using these things like deep fakes zinye zina manipulate images videos audios na ziko very very good at it na the as i've said it's very scary because this is the worst they will ever be they will only get better and better and better even though it's very scary it's very exciting pia so the thing is is let's embrace it see what you can do with the negative effects and use it for the most positive way we can thank you very much for watching this video see you in the next time